Um, so The Chosen is like a free series about the life of Christ. Uh, the creator, Dallas Jenkins, says he is making a Hollywood-level series about the authentic Jesus. And people have said that they pull out their Bible and the series is saying the same thing as the Bible. However, its connection to Mormonism concerns me. Jenkins has said after reviewing the Mormon texts that the Mormon Jesus is the same as our Jesus. He also met with the Pope and demonstrates an openness with heretical forms of Christianity, especially Roman Catholicism. But then I hear believers say that the chosen is enlightening. It helps them understand scripture better. Mm -hmm. Is this a good thing, a bad thing, or is it something we're better off just tabling and talking about other spiritual things? Yeah, no, that's a great question, Lori. And I know it's, it's out there and very popular. I share your concerns. I mean, if you back up and say it's entertainment and it's fictionalized scripture. It's, it's fiction. It's not, some of it is quoting scripture, but much of it is not. Much of it's pretense. And so, as long as you understand that, if, you know, you watch it the same way you would watch um, Ben-Hur, for example, or some other older film that has some reference to Jesus, and as long as you're not using it for those purposes, as you're just seeing it for what it is, it's somebody's idea about Jesus then you won't get into too much trouble with it. But I think the problem is a lot of Christians are thinking it's the best thing since sliced bread and that this is going to be the new, you know, power of the gospel that's going to take over the world. It's not going to happen. Uh, I have those concerns about Dallas Jenkins. I don't know the man personally, but I am very concerned about some of the things he said publicly. Uh, he certainly reveals an affinity for Mormonism, an openness, a drift that makes me very uncomfortable. So, you know, there were, I watched, I watched some of the first season because I knew there were going to be questions. And there were episodes that I thought, well, that's intriguing, that's interesting. Um, there were others that I thought were just bad, and I, I disagreed with how things were presented. So I, I think you have to be careful with anything outside the Scripture. And so particularly when you have someone who's doing it, it's not finished. Here's why I don't recommend it. If if I looked at one or two episodes in the first series, I might say, wow, that's thought-provoking. You know, you might enjoy watching that. But the problem with that is it's not done. I don't know where it's going. I don't know how he's going to finish the story. And I know some of what I've seen I don't like. I don't like, for example, the way John the Baptist is presented as a nut. You know, he came across as a nut, but he wasn't a wild-eyed crazy man. He was a prophet of God. Um, so there are misrepresentations. The idea of Nicodemus possibly becoming one of the disciples, that's a clear misrepresentation of the Scripture. So it, as long as you see it for what it is, okay, it's a fictionalized version of some events from the life of Christ, and you can watch it that way, watch it. But my concern is that some Christians will think this is the real thing. This is how they ought to read their Bibles. Rather than reading or rather than watching the films through the lens of Scripture, they're reading their Bibles through the lens of the chosen. That's exactly backwards. So, you know, that's, that's a real concern. And I would urge if you're not a discerning person, then don't watch it because you're going to have a hard time sorting all that out. If you're a fairly discerning person, you want to watch some of it, watch some of it. Just remember what it is. It's not the Bible. There are, there are quotes from the Bible in it, but that doesn't mean it is the Bible. So, you know, again, that would be my encouragement is, is just to beware. Don't recommend it wildly and widely because you don't know where it's going. We don't know where the producer's going in his own theology, and therefore we don't know where the series is going. And so... It's just not wise to do that. So the verdict's out is what I would say, but what we've seen so far is cause for concern, and the way some Christians respond to it is cause for concern. What you can't do, let me say one other thing. You know, there are those who believe there should never be any representation whatsoever of Jesus. No pictures, no drawings, nothing. And while I don't believe that the second commandment forbids that, I do think that you have to be careful of potentially violating the second commandment. What you don't want to do is get so entrenched in your mind that the character playing the role of Jesus on the chosen is Jesus, that when you're thinking about Jesus, the real Jesus, when you're praying to the Lord, when you're praising Him, you have that guy in your mind. That's not Jesus, all right? So be very careful. And that's not just the chosen, frankly, that's any representation 
of Jesus. Um, so uh, with those cautions, I would say use your own discretion, but be very careful and, and just understand the dangers that come with a fictionalized version of the Christian faith.